Starting this video off today in the Walmart parking lot. I feel like I've been in Walmart a lot in these recent videos, but dude, I've been traveling so much, man, and everywhere seems to have one of these places that you, you can just get anything you could ever want here. So today we are here with some buddies. We got Ryan is fishing right here. We got Yak Pack Outdoors right here. We're gonna be doing a little bit of fishing challenge. We actually are in Alabama right now too. I've never actually been in a Walmart in Alabama. It's interesting going to like different states and seeing what different Walmarts have. This is like kind of like a bass fishing central hub sort of thing. So I'm hoping they have like a lot of cool bass stuff. So anyway, we're gonna hop in here real quick. And uh, yeah, dude, what do you, do you think gonna, we're yeah. gonna catch some biggins dude? Yeah, I mean, we're gonna it. try to get, a, get on some good fish. Let's get in here. Let's get this video started. Today, I'm excited, man. So we actually came in here. We have the squad. We got what kicking is, their oh, best to be also with Norm in hey, here. Hey, we were already up? walking in with these guys. This is like the YouTube life right yeah, here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we, me and Norm were in here, and, and all of a sudden, like Ryan just decked me with a basketball, and I was like, Yo, Bam. what's up, people? I was like, What's up, Ryan? <laughs> and uh, now we're now we're all in here, but uh, they're gonna be doing their thing. We're gonna be doing our thing. Basically, the goal here for today, we're gonna be looking around here in this Walmart section in Alabama. We're gonna be trying to find the smallest fishing lure here. We're gonna try to go out to the water and hopefully catch some fish. So if you guys want to help me just find anything that's like real small, maybe we can bump this Yo, out real how quick. small, like, like just like sm literally the smallest. <laughs> well, I'm talking about I got your bait. <laughs> I got your bait, bro. Yo, what the heck? Hold on, what the heck is that, dude? Mm. What is that, Tiny. backpack? Teeny tiny. What even is that? Actually? Oh my it's god! Like a it's the exact opposite bait, right? of a 10XD. I can tell you that. We'll have to like make a little pile or yeah, something. Make like a little yeah. pile and then we like oh, layer right. them down to what yeah. we yeah, need. Yeah, yeah. See, like what the absolute like I, that, that's really small. Maybe there's something even smaller here. But I was just looking around actually. Where the heck was that? I actually have never seen. It's so random too. Where the heck was it? Oh, these right here. Bro, these are literally like it's specifically made for cricket. I've hooks. never seen cricket hooks it's before. A, it's, I've seen them for live bait, but I've never seen specifically for cricket. I don't know. I just thought that was pretty Look interesting. At this. I know this is kind of a little bigger than his, but you got like one of these little tiny striking Ooh. ones, and that's kind of cool. It's got, it's got two trebles too. I mean, I know that one's like it is a little bit bigger than the one he pulled out, but that's still kind of cool. It's crazy too because there's just so much like this is so much more bass fishing stuff than my Walmart does. I can't like we in Delaware, you're not gonna freaking find. Like you're not gonna find that. This is a crappie crank, but that's like a, a miniature little. Yeah, that's pretty small too. Actually, that's cool. Too. Should we add that in the pile? Norm actually is gonna go film his video. But this, like, what, what is that, dude? This is what I ended up finding is the smallest fishing kit right here, and I fish with lipless crank baits all the time. These lipless crank baits, I mean, they're super, super tiny. Yeah, they're small. But dude. I think you could catch bass on these things, crappie, uh, bluegill, maybe. I mean, anything that swims around here, I think that I could have a chance. It's gonna be interesting too, because there's like, it is freaking Alabama, man. There's, yeah. there's some giants <laughs> here, so that'd, that'd be crazy. That's gonna be fun. Dang, so, yeah, another one, but look at the slick paint Ooh. job. Dude, now. look at the eyes, bro. That thing That's is bugging. crazy. As always, we got the baby shads on deck. We got the injured bait fish. My Walmart at home too has like all these twirl tails, all these grubs and stuff. This is actually this is a very interesting paint job. That actually looks pretty cool. All right, y'all. Noah and Nora are gonna bounce out. They're gonna go film their own video. I'll All see right. you guys later. Oh, oh, Wish we'll us luck, bro. We're gonna catch the biggest. Right there, they're gonna smash yeah, it up, baby. Gonna film they're gonna film their own video too. It up. Good luck on finding those small lures, boys. We'll run into you later tonight, probably. So I just found this thing right before we were about to head out. Lunker Hunt Microsmith is literally called. Micro. That's kind of cool. I, I don't even know what you would catch on this. It actually says on the side, I think, right there. Like yeah. Everything. Oh, panfish, trout, crappie, freshwater. I don't know if that's a necessarily a fish name, but <laughs> and also saltwater. So you could probably catch just about anything that swims on this thing. That's so cool. Yeah, those things are sick, dude. Dude, 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 it's, it's over. It is freaking. Dude, look at this freaking thing right here, dude. Look Fine. at how tiny. These oh little minnows are. Look, look at the hook. Look, what even size Bro. jig head is that, dude? I, I've never seen these before in my local Walmart. I don't know how good this is actually gonna be. How much was this actually? It was over here. This is, oh God, $2.50. They actually have like little spinners over here too that you can put them on. This is, I mean, that's gotta be the smallest one, right? Let's just take a quick look, run through right here of the stuff we got at the Alabama Walmart. We got all the soft plastic, we got the worms, we got the big worms, decent amount of frogs, any cool top water? Oh, that one's actually pretty cool. I've used like a prop frog, never had the prop fish. It's like a little propeller back there. We got spinner baits, jigs. Dude, they got a lot of bass stuff here, man. I don't even think, dude, they don't even have any salt water here, do they? I honestly think this might be the first Walmart I've ever been to that they do not really have any salt water stuff. That is interesting, man. Pretty much like this is where they would have it in the end. And it's just spinners, jigs, all that stuff over here. Uh, yeah, literally no saltwater stuff. That is so interesting. They do have all this stuff over here. I know crappy fishing. That is pretty big here. Hey, man, that's pretty much, I mean, I think we found what we're going to be going with here today. This is, like, I, I have no freaking clue if this is going to work or not. This, 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 this. I don't even know, man. Let's get out of here. Let's pay for this. Let's get to the water.
Whew, okay, now in a random turn of events, we are back here in the state of Delaware. You guys are gonna see there's a lot of videos coming up on the channel. We were in North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, Alabama. I still do have a lot more I want to say about the Bassmaster Classic as well. We're gonna talk about that in like a future video. The objective today is to catch fish all this tiny freaking Walmart lure. This is just like, I'm not sure how possible this is gonna be. Like, I don't know if you guys know how tiny this thing is or not. It is like tiny, tiny. Let me grab one of them. Like, it is so tiny to the point where I don't even know if there's gonna be like action. Like, literally, that is my finger. This is the small smallest lure I have. <laughs> this, is, this is ridiculous. Dude. All right, so we took a second to get set up here. What we kind of got going on is a little spinning rod set up. I do not think I'm really going to be able to cast this thing. I have a little leader. I've got like eight pound braid as my main line. I also have a weighted float. If we're like, that's my last resort. If we cannot cast this out, which I'm hoping, like I don't know how much this jig head weighs, but yeah, if we can't cast it out, we got the bobber. I'm excited to see, first of all, if this thing has like any action at all. Maybe it's so freaking tiny. Second of all, if we can catch a fish. Yeah, I just want to catch a fish on it. We're at this spot here today. It's pretty warm out. There's actually a lot of people here, so hopefully it's not been like too, too pressured. So I am all set up. Before we get over here though, if you guys do watch my channel, if you guys like know me, I really don't spend money on anything else but fishing. Fishing and food. But recently I've been kind of thinking about something. I want to get some stuff done to my forerunner, kind of like upgrade some stuff. One thing I thought would be cool if I like kind of include you guys with me. We could build this beast together. Make the ultimate fishing mobile. So if you guys have any ideas, let me know in the comments below. Yeah, man, let me get down here. There's so many people. Let's see uh, if we can actually do anything. Like, this, this is ridiculous. Okay, all right, let's check. Water's sort of chocolate milky-ish. You guys have seen me fish here a couple times before. This is where we're going to start out here. Just look at, like, that is... Oh my gosh, man. If we catch something on this, I'm gonna be so excited. GoPro mode engaged. I'm not gonna lie, man. It feels just like really, really nice to be back here in the state of Delaware. Now, don't get me wrong, like I love traveling and exploring new places, but it's just something about being, you know, it just, just feels like home, man. Oh boy. All right, let me see. <laughs> There's not much action on this thing at all. Okay, we can kind of cast that a little bit. Not too bad, man. The problem is like it's just very very chocolate milky like this water is not the best clarity so maybe i mean i don't know maybe that's a good thing because this does not have like the most realistic action but at the same time i don't know if these fish are going to be able to freaking see this tiny thing dude all right let me see um i don't want to get bird's nest oh dude that's not bad that is not bad at all all right, so I'm just going to kind of bop this thing around a little bit. I feel like definitely the uh, bobber, is. It, I feel like that's going to be the way to go here today. I mean, I might be able to get one kind of just jerking this thing around a little bit, but it's, I, I, I don't know. It's so light, it's so tiny. This is honestly, like this, I think this is going to be a challenge here today. My goal, again, though, is, is just to catch a fish. Can you imagine, though? Personal best bass, tiny little lure. I'm just kind of jigging it around like I would a normal trout magnet or any other, you know, tiny light lure. It's kind of making a dance down there and you know throw it back a little bit so far i have not had any like nothing's bumped it i feel like nothing even has looked at this thing man all i'm gonna do is just fan cast this in a bunch of different directions one cool thing about this spot though i know every time i come here i'm always like oh dude, it's so pressured so many people fishing here but the thing i really like about this spot and i think a lot of people you know come here to fish for is just the abundance of species man so many species of fish are swimming down here you know, and it's not the easiest just because you know how many people are actually you know, throwing their lines in the water but it's fun man. it's just one of those things you know you never know what you could get out of here dude there's oh my god there's so many people here one two three four five six cars and those are all <laughs> those are all people fishing pretty much this is like a little spillway area there's a big old pond above this that dumps down what the heck dude there's literally just a bluegill sitting like two feet from the bank just staring into my soul come on man we gotta get something on here I i'm about to throw the bobber on just for oh that was a tap all right i'm gonna throw this thing around a little bit more if we do not get any more taps we're gonna implement the bobber strat i think this is gonna work a little bit better we have a weighted float that'll definitely help us cast a little better too not too far down there we got a little dude oh yeah Oh, we're fishing now. So I'm just going to kind of tap, 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 tap. It's nice because it kind of like puts it right into that, you know, water column area that I want it to be in. Hopefully these fish are going to get snack right in their freaking face, dude. Oh, there's a turtle out there. Yoink, yoink. Yo, something tapped at. Hold on. Hey, by the way, y'all, keep in mind, it is still freaking March 
here in Delaware. Like, it's still winter time. Just need them to commit, man. I don't know. Like, how could you even... I don't know if they're short striking this thing because it's, it's so tiny. Maybe it's so small I got some freaking minnows trying to eat this or something. Oh my god. Let's freaking go, dude. This took so long. Please tell me I'm recording. Oh, dude, let's go. Let's freaking go. What do we have here? Ooh, first fish of the day. Holy crap. I don't even care, man. Freaking bluegill. I will take anything right now. Get that out of there. It's interesting. It's got like some orange stuff. Ooh, look at the freaking colors, though, dude. That is a rainbow freaking bluegill right there. Beautiful fish. Let me take a picture of this, dude. That's just how it is in the trenches of Delaware. Let's let you go there, buddy. Look how pretty though, dude. Such a cool looking fish. All right, let's just swim off here. You good? Oh, let's go, dude. A fish is a fish, and we got a fish on the smallest little fish in Walmart. I'm not gonna even lie, man. I know with the power of editing, it might not seem like it, but I have been out here freaking tossing this thing for hours and hours. We worked all up and down that little spillway area. Now we're at this little area of the bigger lake that is above the spillway where we're fishing i'm gonna toss this kind of back in that area dude that uh, i cannot even explain it's such a freaking good feeling just to see that bobber bloom. a couple times a day i don't know if you guys have seen it or not i don't know if it's too far away but they just like nip nip the bobber just like kind of twitches a little bit oh my god it's getting played with oh my god just freaking eat oh dude what are you doing with it? Oh, there it goes. Let's go. Oh, no. Freak. That was a concern I had with these tiny little jigged hooks. There's a little action going on over here in this little cove. Oh, dude, I'm getting nipped at again. This could be anything, too. I mean, this could be a giant bluegill buffet down here. Could be some big crappy, crappy, however you want to say it. Oh. Let's go, let's go. Oh, wait, wait a second. Hold on. Oh my gosh. All right, second fish of the day. Holy freaking crap. Let me not slip on this mud over here. Yo, I'm literally so freaking excited right now, dude. Look at that. That is just ridiculous. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Holy freaking crap. Tiny, oh geez. Tiny, 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 tiny little lure. I mean, that's like barely bigger than this freaking dude's eye. And look at how pretty. I have not caught a crappie. Crappy. Oh, geez. Let me just break my rod while I'm at it. I haven't caught a crappy. Oh, God, dude. About to break my freaking ankle. I have not caught a crappy. Oh, geez. Bro, I'm on one today. All right. As I was saying, I've not caught a crappy in so long. That's so, like, this is such a pretty fish, man. You guys know if you watch the channel. I love these little dudes right here. Oh. All right. Hopefully, if we find one, that is usually a good sign that, like, there could be a school around. So, thank you so much for biting, buddy. He's just like. Very slow. Oh, there he goes. Oh my gosh, man. I, I cannot believe that this is actually working. If only you guys knew how long we were out here without a fish. I was like actually kind of close to just being like, oh, well, we'll go to a new spot. Oh my God, that's such a good feeling. All right, so we got two species down. Now, could a big fish hit this? I mean, I guess if you wanted to hit this. Oh, dude. There's some kind of fish party going on over here, man. Every time I cast it, there's some action. Oh, oh, dude, what is that? What is that? <laughs> okay, that's fighting. Oh, jeez. Come here, boy. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Oh my God, that is actually really, really pretty one. Bro, let me introduce you guys to the art of Walmart's smallest jig. Look at that, hold on a second. Look at the freak, dude, look at the colors. That is a pretty fish right there, man. There's just something about a crappy that, I mean, oh my gosh, dude, it's so freaking cool looking. All right, buddy. Thank you so much for biting. He's a little more yellow than the first one was. Let's go, dude. All right. See if we can, I mean, if I could catch a yellow perch, that would just, Ooh. that would just top off the whole day or a bass or, you know, really anything. But I mean, at the same time, I am completely fine with catching those little buttes right there. 
Ooh, multi-species action, man. This is turning into a fun day, dude. All right, there's some big old crappy in this pond, too. I have definitely yoinked some of them out before, so. There's a school, which it kind of looks like there could be a school over here. Big Bertha might just be chilling down there, waiting for her chance to strike. Oh, jeez, I'm stuck on a rock. I was stuck on a freaking rock. What is that? Oh my dude, dude, this is like freaking awesome. <laughs> Look at that top of the mouth, dude. This has been really sticking them there. Third freaking species of the day. Just out of the same little spot over here. It's crazy, it took me so long to just get a bite. It just goes to show, man, never give up. It's so funny, I mean, look how tiny he is, but where, where's my jig? Look at this, compared to this tiny little thing, I mean, <laughs> he's like a freaking giant, all right. That is, oh my God, it's such a good feeling, dude. All right, Jimbo, let's get you back in there. Freaking tanks all day, man. Oh, we're locked in. Oh, there he is. Hold up a second. Oh, dude, this thing's got some freaking strength. What is that? What in the heck is that? <laughs> this is the biggest fish of the day right here, man. That is a freaking mono bluegill. Oh, get that out of its mouth. Tiny, tiny freaking. Dude, these guys are going crazy. Look how stocky that freaking. I mean, again, the super, super, super cool looking colors. That is like, that is a thick boy. That is a thick freaking boy. All right, get back in there. That's a little bit better. Okay, what is that? What the heck is that, dude? Oh. <laughs> All right, that's the biggest one of the day, actually. Not yet quite yet slab status. We're making some moves, man. They're getting bigger, dude. Oh my gosh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's a dude. Okay, what the heck is that? Oh my god, what the heck is that? Oh, whoa, dude. Oh my god, that is a freaking... Oh, it's the fourth freaking species. Holy freaking crap, dude. Look how big and freaking fat that thing is. Oh my god, that is the freaking fattest golden shiner I have ever seen. Holy crap. All right, hold on. That's a golden shiner, right? Definitely let me know in the comments below. I'm gonna give you guys a better look. Oh my god, all oh, the tiny little- Do you see that freak? Like, look at its freaking belly, dude. Tiny little mouth, too. He probably couldn't have been- Oh, oh, oh. 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 I could grab him, but, uh... <laughs> Thank you so much for biting, buddy. Fourth freaking dude. Holy crap. That was honestly a huge golden shiner. Like, what is going on today? Hey, man, if you are enjoying this video so far, for that freaking giant fat golden shiner four species of the day please make sure to go down there hit that thumbs up button really i mean it really would mean a lot to you man if you do enjoy my videos make sure to go down there click that subscribe button because who do you know is out here catching fatter shiners and that's just facts man oh dude come on come back for it imagine a giant school of freaking fat shiners now i just cannot believe like i thought maybe you know it'd be a blue go buffet kind of day dude four freaking species on the tiniest i can't I, dude all right y'all that is like that is freaking insane i feel like ash catch them right now dude four species like i came out here i didn't know if yeah you know, i was going to catch any species we ended up finding the spot there's a bunch of panfish around here i'm surprised like i feel like this would be a spot where a lot more predator predatorial fish would hang out just because there's so much food to eat that was awesome if you guys did enjoy this video please make sure to go down there hit that thumbs up button if you do enjoy my videos but you're not already make sure to go down there click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you'll know when i post future videos lots of content coming out soon it is getting warm out here the fishing season is just starting we got some cool stuff coming on the way just stay tuned man all i gotta say is let's keep this rolling thank you guys for watching see you next video you